Howdy everybody, Shiki here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to .hackgu. In the last episode, we were in... We just fought uh, Matsu and we kicked his butt. He also gifted us his flame sword. Let bygones be bygones, I suppose. There's quite a few changes in this run. As we can see, I got another background. <laughs> and there's different music playing. <laughs> Cause... I pretty much had to restart the playthrough because I had a IRL PC problems <laughs> and my data had to be deleted along with all my other game data. Anyways, um, I ended up streaming my journey to get to where we left off in the, in the episodes and I kind of went a little overboard with uh, leveling up so... <laughs> I might just include like the battles because they shouldn't even take that long. But when it comes to the dungeons, I will cut those out because uh, F dungeons. I don't like traversing and I don't want to have you guys sit and deal with me being lost and confused. But I am a lost king so that might make sense. Anyways. In this episode, I don't know what we're gonna do, but thankfully, I think it'll tell us in the mail. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't, and let's jump back into the world. From Gaspard. Okay, I might still be kind of slow from time to time, but as long as you're my guildmaster, I feel like there's no way I can let myself lose. I hope you stick around. Of course, Gaspar, we homies. From Pyros. Oh, Pyros. A uh, new desecration discovered. Try Edge, he is not to be forgiven. They see that criminals return to the crime scene, so I'm hap so I'm about to head to that area and ambush him. I hope I can count on you for your help. I'm waiting at Hidden Forbidden Bulwark. New try it sign. I've got to go check it out. So, try edge's sign was located in Delta Hidden Forbidden Bulwark. Ooh, I remember this place. Oh, and as you guys can. <laughs> I think in the last episode, I was like around level 30 something, and now I reach a uh, level cap. <laughs> this is the max level in the first game, so yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't too hard to reach that level. <laughs> Are you expecting the criminal to return to the scene of the crime? Isn't that too cliché, Ovan? Hmm. <laughs> so, what do you think is located on the other side of this wall? There's nothing. The graphics for backgrounds that can't be seen by the players are not rendered in order to save processing power. That's just like you. Yata. But I can feel it. It feels like there's something being held back behind this wall. This place is a prison. A prison? That was very dramatic and quite poetic, considering it came from you, Ovan. However, in that case... The question is, between the existence that lies beyond the wall and us, which is the one that is in the prison? I'm going to leave before the pursuer gets here.
Oh, he of fair eyes! My comrade, it's you! Thank you for coming! The sign made by the hated Triedge is this way. He might come back at any time. Let us wait and ambush him. Pyros, the heck you doing? Okay, no lie. Uh, when Ovan and Yata were talking, I thought Ovan was just like talking to himself with like two different voices. And Pyros, the, the heck you doing, bro? This uh, this version of his theme song, I kind of like it. Look at this dude, bro. No problems with the graphics here. No. That looks so uncomfortable. You're sure that Triage is going to show up here? Of course! My animal instincts tell me that criminals always return to the scene of the crime! Don't tell me. You love cop shows, right? So, according to your animal instincts, when's Triage going to get here? That I don't know. Could be ten minutes, or maybe an hour, or half a day, or even two days. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Or a month, or maybe half a year? But I don't want to ignore the possibility of three years. There's no point in waiting here. I'll head back to town. Three years? Have you waited three years before, Pyros? That is a uh, dedication. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, he'll see you! Go! Get away from there! Okay. But it's like, I mean, if he shows up here, like in this part, he won't see you. But, uh, if he shows up like this, <laughs> or like this, <laughs> then I don't know, bro. Yeah, I ca I'll catch you later, Pyros. Uh, see you next time. Oh, from a terrace. Getting, getting straight to the point. <laughs> Lumina cloth? Jeez, old man. At least write down what you want. It's like a message to that my mom or dad might send me. Like, don't, don't even like tell me what you want. Like, just come here. <laughs> like, I'm sure it's important. I'm sure it is. And Terrace is calling me. Guess I'll go to Lumina Cloth. You're late, kid. Like hell. You're the one that called me. If it's for something stupid, I'll beat the crap out of you. Fine. Then see for yourself whether or not you think it's stupid. There. Ecolo's Alcade? Hey, hey, hurry up or you'll lose her. But why do I have to... Goes anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. Wiping, wiping, suspicious. I remember the last time we fought. You used something against me, didn't you? Yeah, well, that trick isn't going to work on me this time. For our next match, I'm going to have a specialist monitor it. Then I will expose your trickery to the entire world. <laughs> I guess that serves you right. She noticed the avatar, you know. 
How are you going to handle this, Emperor? Well, don't you worry about it. I'm going to fight her before you will. Just you wait. I'm going to take her down without even using my avatar. And after I'm done with her, next is... It doesn't interest me in the slightest bit how you choose to fight her. But I will tell you one thing. Huh? al -Kaid is a very strong fighter. As you are now, there's no way you can defeat her. No, not without using the Avatar anyway. Don't get yourself so blinded by your foolish pride that you lose sight of what's in front of you. I can't beat al -Kaid? There's no way in hell! What, you think you can win every time? That you won't lose? Damn straight I won't! Look, kid. I don't know anything about the problems you and Endrance might have had in the past. But the arena is not the kind of place where you can survive on false pride alone. Even if you train till you drop and you work with all of your tactics, there is still a small chance that something could upset the whole situation in the actual battle. But the minds of the fighters are filled with their short-sighted pride, making them think that victory can come easily. That empty pride is turned into shackles. Shackles that hold you down. Why can't you or al see that? <sighs> that damn Antares. Talking like he knows it all. Damn it. Makes me sick. Guess I'll log out and check my email. There was somebody, like a shop, hidden back there. Glad it wasn't just a, a figment of my imagination. Ooh, semifinals. Uh, from Syllabus. Congrats on winning the second match. You're really amazing. I mean, you actually won. I'm so proud to be a member of Cunard right now. Are you saying you weren't proud before? By the way, do the quest called Underground Exploration at the quest shop right now. Would you like to take it on with me and Gaspar? I thought it might be a good way to refresh our guild's feeling of unity. Sure. Demon Palace. We're gonna be fighting against al -Kaid. My opponent this time is al -Kaid. Well, I guess I better go register. I'm so happy you won your second match. You were awesome. I heard your next opponent is al -Kaid. She's the former emperor, so I bet she's really tough. But I know you can win. You've been trying so hard. Oh, and on that note, Counting Wrath Generation, I'm sorry I can't do more than just find any areas that are good for leveling up. I just wish I didn't get so nervous in front of people. I, I appreciate, I appreciate the help, Gaspar. But, <laughs> unfortunately, I cannot level up anymore, I guess. To take a break from uh, arena tournament stuff. Or do a little bit of quest. I'll go register for the semi-final match at the arena counter. Gotta invite Adelie in Syllabus. Is she not here? The semi-final is just about to start. Is she still mad about what I said about Sakaki before? For now, I'll just go register at the arena counter. Can I... It's not right away. I think I can register and then maybe do a quest. Right? Okay. Syllabus? 
Well, those are real. Atelie's late, isn't she? Yeah. She did say she'd come, so I'm sure there's nothing to be worried about. Yeah. Hey, what the? Who said that I was worried? <sighs> I'm here. I'm so glad I made it on time. Adelie. You made it. Yeah. Did something happen, Atelie? You gotta listen! While I was on the bus, I sort of fell asleep. I missed my stop and ended up all the way at the last stop. I was like, oh man, where is this place? Uh-huh. Mr. Haseo, the semi-final match is about to begin. Please finish the registration process. Oh! <laughs> the match is about to start! Let's go, everyone! Semi-finals, here we go. Oh, Coney, stop that! What? Hey, I'm sure you two do those things too, right? Oh, I wouldn't do that! But if it's you, Coney, then I just might make an exception. Me too, me too! <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> Uh oh. Hey, uh, sup? Well, you seem to be enjoying yourself. There's a much bigger reason for this, uh, deeper than the ocean. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, you! Yeah, Cooney's coming with us! <laughs> What's with her? Do you think Haseo can win? I honestly have no idea. The boy does have his ups and downs, you know? Very interesting. You say that almost as if you think he has a chance of winning. Oh, that hurts. But it's the truth. Let's face it, if he fights normally, he will lose. He's fighting former Emperor Alcade. Her skills are quite formidable. Even if Haseo has leveled up a bit, it's highly doubtful that he's closed the gap in skill. I wonder. That may be true, but he's been training hard up until just recently, you know. Kuhn. You know what your biggest fault is? Is that you always run away from inconvenient conclusions. Hmm. Let's face it, there is no way that Haseo can win this fight. Not without using his avatar. Yeah. Which means, he's definitely going to use it. When that happens, when he uses it, what are you gonna do about it? <sighs> the tournament semi-final match! Today, we meant to bring you commentary from the Guildmaster of Ikolo, Mr. Tayaku! Instead, we provide you with commentary from the Holy Palace Emperor! Mr. Sirius, thank you! Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Sirius! <laughs> Why so serious? Oh, uh... In today's match, we have Alcade, the former Emperor of the Demon Palace! I heard the condition for joining Ecolo is to be an Arena Emperor, but... It's not a condition, it's a qualification! Oh, of course, it's a qualification. Unfortunately, Alcade was robbed of her throne by the current Emperor, Endrance. But in this season's tournament, she's aiming to try and reclaim her place. Do you have a message for her? If you wish for glory, be strong. Okay then, how about a comment about the opposing team, Haseo? No contest. That's all. 
Uh, thank you! Come on! Come on! I'll take you out in an instant! That's my line. Here we go. You! You won't get away with this! Okay, here goes! Damn. What kind of attack was that? Am I going to lose here? Am I going to lose? What? You think you can win every time? Al Cade is a very strong fighter. So, you see, you and I are on totally different levels. Get it? Damn. Damn. Take her down without even using my avatar. It's not a As place you where you can win just because you're saved. <laughs> no, not without using the avatar. A rival? You? He looks weak. Fantastic! It looks like Team Haseo has done it again, folks! Just when everyone thought Team Elkade had this match in the bag, Team Haseo has exceeded our expectations! I'm at a loss! What more can be said than amazing? It's unfortunate for Team Elkade. What do you think, Mr. Sirius? <laughs> wow. He just walks away. So, you're nothing more than a big fat cheater as well. Uh, uh, I'll never... Uh, I'll never forgive you! Uh. Coon. I think it's about time that you answered my question once and for all. So tell me, what's your plan? What are you going to do about Haseo? <sighs> Haseo. He thinks it's acceptable to do anything. Just as long as he wins. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show him how foolish he is. I'll teach him how frightening avatars truly are. Was was that supposed to mean good? <laughs> are, are we gonna have a a avatar battle? Hello. It wasn't on purpose. I could have won that. <laughs> Can I go to the quest shop? Let's take a take a breather from the tournament and do a quest if I can. Adeline, get out. There we go. Oh, you're a spell guy. I see. I'll do this. And I don't have any spell books, surprisingly. I have like other items aside from spell books. My poor magic users.
Hey, hon. Thanks for coming. <laughs> My name is Big Man. I want you to collect a decaying stone. Have you ever heard of a decaying stone? It's a stone that is used to create a very special pigment. You're an artist. Oh my! When you paint with a special pigment, the result is so perfectly fabulous that it makes me all warm inside. The stone should be embedded in the wall in the deepest part of the cave. It sparkles, so it should be easy to spot. Just bring me back one fragment and I'll give you a great reward. <laughs> I'm counting on you, hun. Okay, hugs and kisses. Um, mwah. Oh my. Alright guys. We're gonna we're gonna help out a fellow artist. Even though it's a dungeon. I will help. <laughs> what the hell? Syllabus. What are you doing over there? And then with Gaspard. Where do you guys go? Hello? Is that you, Haseo? What a coincidence. You want a quest? Hey, watch it! You're talking to our captain here! Excuse me. He gave me his sword. We are, uh, friends. <laughs> Who are you? Shut up, you two. Thank you. We're on patrol. Patrol? I don't know why, but my my eyes are looking at the the slow movement of the camera, like from uh, his lower back. <laughs> I just want to lie out. <laughs> it's a moon tree duty. We go out regularly into different areas to prevent PKs. You sure are dedicated. Not really. We just go on quests and take out any annoying punks that need some ass kicking. Like PKs. And PKKs. Is, is that a threat? Hmm. Well, anyway, we're the ones that are going to complete this quest. You guys are wasting your time. Also, a guy who uh, communicates with a head nod. Yeah, I, I do that too. Like instead of talking, I'll just like move my head in a direction or just like make a hand gesture, <laughs> assuming that they understand what I'm talking about. Cowards! It's two against one! Idiot! Just let us PK you. <laughs> well, that dude sound like Orochimaru. Haseo! We're gonna beat them up? Damn it! This is supposed to be Matsu's job. Where'd he go? Freaking slacker. Who the heck are you people? Wanna get PK'd too? Here goes! Shadow Flash! Let's keep it up! D damn You'll regret it! You're gonna regret this when our boss finds out! Boss. Yeah, you're a dead man. <laughs> nice laugh. Boss! 
Thanks, man. You saved me. No sweat, dude. Now give me money. <laughs> Those guys just showed up all of a sudden. It's not much, but take it. A health drink. I'm heading back to town. Later. All right, deuces. Excuse me, that's mine. Ah. One item and two parties, huh? Uh, excuse me. I thought your job was to just, uh, patrol. What do we do, Haseo? You give it to me. Huh? Who gets the item? You can't go empty-handed after coming all the way down here, right? <sighs> Arena was three on three. How about we handle this mano a mano? What? You and I fight it out. Teammates stay out of it. The winner gets the item. How about it? It's all right for a captain of the Seventh Council to PK? No. It's a duel. A duel? What century are you living in? What's the matter? Worried you're gonna lose? Do you need to have your friends to protect you? Ugh. Think you can beat me? That's the attitude. Uh, think it over, Haseo. You can't fight here. He suggested it. That doesn't matter. If you hurt someone without a good reason, you're just like those PKs. What? PKs? Yeah, that's right. We encountered some PKs on the way here. That's why we were late. Found ya! You can run, but you can't hide! <laughs> you guys are finished. Boss, come on. These are the guys we told you about. Let's get them. <laughs> okay. Which one of you was stupid enough to tangle with us? It's... it's the onion head. I'm gonna teach you some manners. Huh? Bro, what happened with uh, Bordeaux? <laughs> what? The terror of death? <laughs> You're the... the Crimson Demon! Huh? That player is... Get ready, fools! <laughs> Our boss is uber strong! Okay, wipe them out! Huh? Oh, y yeah! Poor dude. <laughs> I'm getting nervous! Alright, man. Tiger Blitz! <laughs> Sound <laughs> Rock! <laughs> Excuse me. Lotto <Rattle> Move! <laughs> I don't think we're fighting the arena. Wow! We did it! I was like freaking fighting the arena thinking, oh I just need to defeat the leader and then I'll be done. Yeah! I uh I I I No way! I can't defeat these guys! Huh? Boss! Wait for us! Well then, you wanna get started? <laughs> no. What? That intrusion really pissed me off. What? You're not gonna fight? We got all pumped up for it! Come on, Captain! Shut up. I said I changed my mind. We might as well save it for a more appropriate stage. Right, Haseo? Yeah, like... What if we accidentally, uh, 
Alright. What if we fight and then break the item? That would have been bad. <laughs> Whatever. It's our mistake we didn't spot the PK. You can take the item. So I was getting worried. Wow! Wow, wow! Oh my gosh! This is a super fabulous one. Stupendous! Now I'll be able to create many truly beautiful masterpieces. Thank you, hon. Let me give you a little extra something to go along with your reward. <laughs> well then, bye bye, hon. Hugs and kisses. Uh, ma. Man! There's just no end to the excitement whenever we're with you. Well, I'm glad, guys. Sounds like that Matsu guy still plans to fight you. Gonna be okay? Don't worry. I'll be ready. Cool. Alright, I think this will do it for this episode of that hike to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video.